Well, come on in, everyone. We're just about to continue with more Titan Souls. In the last one, we introduced ourselves to this beautiful and infuriating game. Infuriating game. And we beat the first three Titans. This time, we're heading on to a new one. First, I'm going to show you something a little interesting. If you shoot him and immediately roll out, you can be outside of the arena for this fight. This is how you get the achievement. Shadow of the Colossus. Kill this titan by pulling the arrow. In order to kill with a pull, you have to have some speed. So, it's tricky. But I'm not going to do it this way. I'm going to do it the quote-unquote legitimate way. So, if you could help me out, buddy. Nope. Can't kill me through that wall. Right over here. Right here? There we go. So if you pull the arrow, then you're able to get the kill. With If you pull it with good timing and you accelerate it enough, you're able to get the kill. And that'll get you the Shadow of the Colossus achievement, which, you know, obviously is a direct reference to an amazing game. But, now, more legitimately, this is the Guardian of the First Gate. Goliath. Well, tech. No, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Technically, his name is Gol Ieth. G O L hyphen Ieth. It's an interesting name. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say it's not very clever, but you know, it's funny and it's a little tongue in cheek, and I I like it. Uh, and you gonna punch me? You gonna punch me, bro? Oh, that's a fist. I missed. This one, or there is one thing that you'll quickly learn about me as I play through this game. I'm bad at aiming. Really bad at aiming. And my cat's at my door. One second, please. All right, hopefully she'll leave me alone while, I'm pl while I am playing. But, all right. Once more, with feeling. It takes a while to actually start his first attack, so we have plenty of time to retrieve our arrow. And plenty of time to miss. Ah, I didn't want to roll because his hand was still there and I would have bumped off of it, but... Uh, I just made a horrible mistake. And I did not mean to shoot my arrow. It's in the door. Get over here. But yeah, eventually it'll get to the point where Titans are taking so long that the walk backs to the fight will be cut out because there are a couple of fights in this game where it just gets to be too much. Great. And uh, with this uh, boss, oops, like I said, that can happen. With this boss specifically, it's a good example. Uh, in this game, Ties go to the runner, if that analogy makes sense. But if you kill the boss within, I think it's a very tiny window, but if you and the boss die at the same time, essentially, then you win. You'll get the kill. In most cases. There's some bosses where that just doesn't work as far as design and programming. Things like that are going to happen a lot. <laughs> I walked into his fist, and it killed me. Honestly, I haven't killed this boss the legitimate way in a very long time, so... I mean, I've killed him a few times, not like a lot of times, but... Get over here. I need you, Arrow. I can definitely applaud this game on the responsive controls. Because it means every time I die, it's entirely my fault. 100%. So, as you can get as frustrated as you want with the game, but it's never the game's fault. Uh, if you, I'm pretty sure I've said it on the channel, if you've been here for uh, any decent amount of time, but I love 
difficult games. But, I love fair games. I like games where everything that goes wrong is my fault. This is definitely one of those games. There is very little RNG in this game, there's very little going on in this game aside from what you do. Titans have attack patterns, you learn them or you die. Generally both. I got too close and he killed me too fast. It's gonna get to, I'm pretty soon I'm just gonna start cutting out the walkbacks, but it's a it's not too long of a walk. There's some later that just get obnoxious. One in particular, especially since one boss in particular is extremely difficult. Well, not extremely. Although I suppose you could argue that every boss in this game is extremely difficult. Alright, roll forward. All I had to do was commentate what I was saying out loud, and I did it. There we go. Morsels of a Titan. And that is our fourth Titan beam. This means the sealed gate that we saw before. The one that had four markings on it, as you can see right here. We've beaten the four, and the door opens. And the cat wants to get up on the desk. Hi, cat. Don't ruin it. Hi. She's sticking her face in my face. But now, we start to make our way. Interesting architecture. Um, I mean, honestly, there's so much detail in this game. It's ridiculous. And there's another cat in my face. I can't actually see the screen, but I know this area. Interesting. A person, an eye, an arrow, and a bow. What could it mean? But here we are. Into the big, wide, open world. At this point, you can take on any titan you want, except for the last two. But I have a particular order that I'm going to go in, so if we head down to the bottom and we look over, we can see a structure, a castle of sorts. That'll be a later destination. For now, we're heading this way. A little stream. Sadly, I tried, but you cannot fall down the waterfall. That would make things awfully convenient. But, despite there being nothing in this world, I always feel compelled to just explore, because it is, it is awfully pretty. I mean, for some people, pixel art just isn't their thing, but I appreciate it very much. And another thing I must note is that you cannot roll upstairs, but also, if you roll downstairs, you continue to roll. So, just, just a fun little thing about stairs. I don't think it's incorporated in any fights. So, it's a shame. But, we're almost to our next destination. Big gaping tunnel leading to some cooler colors than before. And the cat's making sounds. But, here, we're welcomed into, controversially, one of my favorite types of areas in video games. A snow world. A nice world. There's plenty to do in the overworld. Um, not much of it is productive, but we can play the snow. Our amazing magical arrow cannot pierce through a pile of snow. I'm just holding the fire button, nothing's happening. But, <laughs> a little perseverance can get us through quite easily. Sadly, rolling with the trays does not cause a snow effect. I really wish it did. But, as we make our way up here, 
find ourselves another sigil on the floor. These are checkpoints. Make sure you hit them before you face any bosses in any new areas. Otherwise, you're going to be very upset when you respawn and have to travel for a couple minutes to get wherever you are. And of course, inevitably, since you have to travel a long time, you forget to hit the sigil again. And then the cycle just is brutal. This is a pretty comical boss, despite not being a very easy one. This is the Yeti. Icicles, icicles, and Yeti. <laughs> I had it perfectly lined up, but he, he got me. He got me good. The achievement for the Yeti, beating the Yeti, some of the achievements are very creatively named, some of them much less so, but the achievement beating the Yeti was pretty exemplified right there. Beat the Yeti in under 10 seconds. He throws four snowballs. He rolls at you. And I missed. It's embarrassing. But with this boss, I don't mind going for the achievement because it's more exciting that way, trying to one cycle the guy. Uh, to use some pro speedrunning technical terms of I'm really good at video games. Gosh, even when I'm facetious, I sound pretentious. I'm sorry. Those are icicles. I didn't roll. Uh, when I so when I beat this game the first time, I was streaming on Twitch because I don't know the it gets a little tedious. At least the first time you play through, trying to just slog at a boss and just trying to get lucky that one time. And snowballs. But yeah, first time I beat this on Twitch. First time I played this, I beat it on Twitch. I missed. And I missed again. Also, his snowballs will not kill you unless they pin you against a wall. That's definitely something to note. However, if the first snowball hits, the second one will most likely hit, and it'll most likely pin you to a wall. So, best just to avoid it. Uh, but yeah, when I was playing this on Twitch, it became a tiny stream meme that I just said, anytime I messed up, I, my instant response would be, I didn't roll. But it did roll that time. Gosh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guy. Oh, I'm so sorry. This, this poor bro. But there we go. I don't have Steam Overlay on, but if I did, I would have gotten the Beating the Yeti achievement. And that's about everything I want to do this for this episode. But there's a little thing I want to show you guys. There are a few secrets in this game, and I have, as of yet, not looked any of them up. I just try to explore and find them. And this one is one I found on my own, even though it's not that hidden. It's just pretty, pretty cool. Uh, so, just from the Yeti's battle, go around this way, and you'd think it'd be another fight, but... In here, find an interesting room with some interesting runes. I'll say, I've beaten the game, but I'm not entirely sure of what this represents. I have an idea, but I'm not gonna spit out speculation yet because spoilers. But yeah, uh, the series, like I said, the episodes are going to be inconsistent in length. I hope you guys are okay with that. I hope you can, I hope you can bear with me, but I really felt the need to share this game. Because for one, my love of difficult games is large. I, I don't know. It's just, I like a challenge, generally. I can, I can sometimes go for the, some casual stuff. But I really, when I played through this game the first time, or when I, even when I saw this game, 
because of my love for Shadow of the Colossus and my love for Super Meat Boy and my love for difficult games in general, I knew I needed to play this at some point. So I'm glad you all are joining me as I try and, you know, make my way through this brutal, harsh land, this brutal, harsh game. But I guess that's going to be it for this episode of Titan Souls, and the next one we'll be heading up here, taking out another boss, and solving a bit of a torch puzzle to unlock the boss after that. But until then, keep on keeping on.